Good morning, good morning. Happy New Year. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Sia, for this beautiful, beautiful plate on communion. Praise God. It's be just beautiful. Just beautiful. Welcome to communionfire.com. Well, that's our website and lots of resources available there in nine different categories. And uh, we say lots of bantering things this early in the morning while you're getting yourselves set up. Uh, most of you have probably gone to church or something like that. But this morning, uh, we are day one of 2017, and we're going to fly to India. Praise God, flying to India. And uh, we have a focus on the West Coast, down at Mumbai, and... Um, uh, we have a friend who's going there next week, and um, we continue to pray for our dear family in Delhi. There we go. Yes, Lord. We pray for India and Nepal. Lord, we pray for uh, all the surrounding nations in that area of the world, and we pray, Lord, for uh, you to fly there with your angels, to release your angels, to manifest your glory, to bring revival, that you send your Holy Spirit, that you empower India to become a light to all nations. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, that you would break down those things that are darkness and that you would reveal the light of Christ, that you would stand in the midst of India and that the light of heaven would break upon the, your people there, Lord. Hallelujah. That as they come to your table... They will feed on that hidden manna that you have prepared for them. Hallelujah. And we pray for China. And, Lord, we pray for uh, all of our friends in the uh, Thailand area. And we pray for those uh, uh, going down toward Australia, New Guinea, and, and Vanuatu, of course. And we pray for all of our friends in New Zealand, Australia. We thank you, Lord, for this ring where your power is going to be released, Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then we move further into Istanbul, Lord, and we pray for those in Istanbul. Lord, we pray for the uh, travesty from New Year's Eve in Istanbul, and we pray that you would uh, comfort your people. Comfort your people, and that, that, Lord, you would raise up a standard now against all this wickedness, Lord God, that's taking place in the Middle East and so forth. And we pray for your revival to hit all of uh, Saudi Arabia and Egypt and uh, down into Africa, Lord God, especially on the uh, East Coast and down the Eastern uh, countries, Lord God. Hallelujah. And pray for our friends in Madagascar. We pray for our uh, friends, Lord God, uh, throughout Kenya and Tanzania. Uh, we pray for Somalia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Isn't it great that we can cover the world in prayer just by our, our voice? Isn't it wonderful that we can pray for our brothers and sisters all over the world and that we can pray for the peace of Jerusalem? and the salvation of uh, the Jewish people. And and uh, we pray, Lord God, that the light of Christ would shine in Israel and throughout Syria and Turkey, Lord God, uh, throughout um, that area of the world again, where there's so much uh, going on these days. And we thank you, Lord God, that uh, we are inheritors, Lord God, of of, of the blessings of uh, the Jewish people, praise God, and that now the days of the Gentiles come to a close, and we, we, we watch with awe as we see you, Lord God, as in Rabbi Kadori, bringing um, the light of Christ into his living room, and uh, for a full year, Lord God, that Yehoshua Mashiach is Jesus Christ, and he shared with his people Israel, in Jerusalem, and then when he died, he left his testament. Praise God! All right, Hallelujah! And 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 we just we just cover the globe, Lord, as we as we start this morning into Eastern Europe and Western Europe and up into the uh, uh, areas of uh, Russia. And we pray, Lord God, for your outpouring, Lord God, to take place over all the world. 
that 2017, Lord, you said we're going to see wonders and signs like we've never seen before, that the light of Christ will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Praise God. Well, good morning, everybody. Well, hello, Joel. Praise God. Good to see you. Hello, Mary Cantwell. You've already started to fly, haven't you, Mary? Praise God. Um, the girls have set up a... Uh, Camille has a friend in um, France, Eve, and a friend in North Carolina, uh, Kristen. And the three of them have set up vintage... The Vintage Home Shop. Maybe you could type it for me, Mary. Uh, I need more coffee. <laughs> But she spoke with Eve this morning. Praise God. That's wonderful. We love Eve and Anna. And um, we are so thankful uh, that one of the fruits of communion fire yes, yesterday was uh, I made a little suggestion walking through the living room to Camille uh, about going live. And she said, well, let me just mention that to Eve. And, and daggone, they've set up the whole network already. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So um, when Jesus said fly in 2017, he's talking about flying away from what's comfortable, flying away from what has been, flying into a new life in Jesus Christ, flying into the kingdom of God, flying into a new reality, a new reality. My son showed me, uh, you know, what uh, this new, um, you know, you put on the, the glasses and, and you get to look into a 3D reality. I mean to tell you, it's the most amazing thing. In his living room, I was uh, painting with electronics, and uh, I could do in, you know, 60 seconds what, you know, painters took uh, their lifetime to paint. I mean, it was really, really quite amazing. And um, he's creating VR, virtual reality programming, uh, with a friend of his, and it was just mind-boggling. But I said, you know, Aaron, this is exactly what Communion Fire is about. We're talking about showing people a new reality, the reality of the kingdom of heaven, of eternal life, of, of life with Jesus Christ, uh, that there, there is a reality, and that reality happens in Communion. And when we take the bread, it's the show bread. So Jesus reveals himself. There's revelation in the bread. Uh, when we uh, drink the wine, um, Jesus reveals himself. He speaks to us. We hear his voice. And it doesn't happen every once in a while or once in, once in a lifetime. It's every day. Jesus is waiting at his table for you to join him and to share the life that he has prepared for you today. All right? So um, we're going to um, just, you know, uh, trust the Lord as we have communion and see where he takes us as far as his word goes. And, and, and let's just have communion together, okay? All right. Lord, we ask you to bless this bread to be your body. We do this to remember you, the body of Jesus broken for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. take the wine. Lord, we ask you to bless this wine to be your blood. We do this to remember you, the blood of Jesus shed for you. Hallelujah. God, what was your encounter today? Really, Bob, already? That quickly? Yes, that quickly. Uh, Heinz Feet in High Places, Hannah Hernard. Uh, a, a, a great uh, book of treasures that uh, the Lord used in the, 
in the 70s and it became a very popular book. Um, in the bread this morning, um, <clears throat> I wrote it down. <clears throat> Jesus said, come up to the mountains. I want to show you something. Oh, Lord. When Jesus wants to show you something, you definitely want to go where he leads. Amen. So this week, follow Jesus up into the mountains, um, into heavenly places, and look for what he wants to show you. And when he shows you, it will bring you life. It will reveal his love. It will reveal that new reality uh, of the eternal kingdom of God. The eternal will re be replacing the temporary. Um, the temporary is going to go away, and it's going to happen soon. So get used to this new reality uh, called the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. And, and Jesus preached that when he was walking about Israel. Amen. So the kingdom of heaven. Um, <clears throat> and then in the wine, the Holy Spirit said, look up. So I looked back where the mountain was. And you know, it's funny when you do virtual reality, when you're in that place that's established by grids and lights and scanners and so forth, when you're in that reality, you look, you, you look around like, oh, look at this place. This is amazing. It's a reality. It's, it's a reality. It's a new reality. And when you look around, you go, wow. How do they do this? But then, before trying to answer all your questions, you just get into what's there. And that's what Jesus is trying to do in communion fire. He's saying, come to my table and experience me. Experience my reality. Know that I'm there with you. And that when you're with me, you know, he says, if you eat this bread and drink this wine, if you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will experience a new reality. That new reality is him in his place, not you in your place. Now, he will meet you. He'll meet with you in your place as long as you need him to. Very patient, very loving, very kind. He'll mm -hmm. heal you. He'll provide for you. He'll do all those things. But more importantly, he wants us to experience his presence. He wants us to come into his presence and experience him face to face, as it were. You know, and, uh, oh. There's so much to share, isn't there? Praise God. Anyway, do it by faith. Lord, we pray for each one today, Lord God, as we kick off this new year, Lord, that we will ascend into your heavenly places, that we will look up to the mountain to see you calling us to yourself. And as you do, Lord, we will follow you into that mountain, into that high place, Lord, where you are above all principalities and powers, so that we might see as you see, that we might see with your eyes, that our eyes might be open to see the things of the Spirit, and that our ears might be open to hear the things that are spoken by the Spirit of God, by the voice of God. Uh, Lord, we, we, we dwell in, the, in, in that land with you, Lord. The kingdom of God is a reality. And, and, and Lord, you shared so many parables to help us understand the pictures that go with the kingdom of God. Lord, show us these parables every day. As we come to your table, we thank you that you're not hiding from us, but you want us to share your fellowship. Share communion with you that we might find communion with others, having communion with you that the reality of God could be established in the hearts and minds of those that we come in contact with. God bless you. Happy New Year. Great to see you, Joel. Thanks for joining us this morning. Praise God. Mary Cantwell, you're already flying, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. It's wonderful. All right. Um, have a blessed day. Have a very happy New Year. And uh, yeah, our, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll join you tomorrow. God bless you. Ciao, baby. <laughs>